Hey, what's up, YouTube? New Hacks here. I've got a tutorial for everyone today. Um, it was how I did something in a montage that people have I'm yet to be the father Fuck! In a montage that people have uh, yet to see. Um, I guess you guys just saw a bit there. Um, but um, it's the, what I do with the uh, kill cam, so check it out. <laughs> A victim of a man that substituted his mouth for his hands So when he talk you hear a blam, damn See my father figure that my mom should be the father figure And he'll leave with some bottle liquor But my mama never Wait, what? How did- I didn't know the kill cam did that How did the hell cam- what? Well, it actually doesn't do that I did it myself Using some black magic and a knowledge of masking and after effects It's pretty simple Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna have two clips We're gonna have it's, it's, it started out as one clip, right? If you recorded both the kill from the person's perspective and the kill cam, right? So what you're going to do is you're going to split the clip and then paste it back together so it looks like it's one continuous clip, right? But halfway through, um, it turns into a uh, into the kill cam, right? So, it, so the sniper goes, woo, and then you're like, wait, wait a second, I thought this was the perspective. Well, I'm so confused, right? So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take advantage of that, and then you're gonna uh, take, oops, you're gonna take um, this clip right here, and then the first frame where it starts, you're gonna duplicate it three times, right? So I have these three, and then what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to layer, time, freeze frame, and then that's gonna keep it at one frame, right? At the round wing kill zero zero five, right here, Fall Higgy. Thank you, Fall Higgy, for giving me this clip. Um, uh, and yeah, so. We're gonna, uh, so let me just show you what I've done. So I've masked out the Fall Higgy, title and emblem, the 005, and the round winning kill, right? So now what we can do is we can animate them so that they come into place right here. So what we're gonna do is let's just, okay, whoops, I don't wanna see all the masks. Let's go transform, position, so this is the final position that we want it to be at, right? So let's say it's gonna start, it's gonna, how about it? Whoops. Oh, shucks. How about it comes in from the top, right? So, comes in from the top right there, right? So, whoosh, right? Right? But here's the thing, right? That's a little boring, and I'm going to be doing something else with that. So, let's have it a little more crazy, right? So, let's go. Right, so, 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 so it's gonna go like this, right? So go, right? Pretty cool, cool stuff. The one problem is, let's just get this up and out, right? So, right? Pretty cool, pretty cool stuff. Okay, so we've got that. Then let's animate the uh, zero zero five, right? So in theory, you could have the entire timer taken down, but you'd have to mask it for basically every frame or roto tool, and that would just be so much of a pain. I guess you could do that. All right, so. Okay, so. Uh, this five, so we're gonna keyframe it right here. So it masks, transform, position, keyframe. Let's have it slide in from the side like a cool, slick dude. Right? So it goes. Okay. So the final thing is we've got the. Uh, this, right? So. Last time. Let's keyframe that position. Keyframe. And let's have it come from here, right? Wait a second. But it's gonna come from here and it's gonna I'm also what I'm also gonna do is I'm gonna keyframe the rotation and the scale, right? So it's gonna come in like a friggin' newspaper, one of those like movies where it's like so it's gonna have a scale of zero at the beginning, right? So actually actually let's delete this keyframe. So keyframe that right there, right? It's gonna come in and it's gonna have a rotation of 
negative a let's check this out whoa josh that's so sick i know guys okay so that's going to be here right it's going to come in here right but then there are these black bars josh i don't know how to make black bars well guys it's actually quite simple let's go to layer new solid let's make it comp size let's go all black once you go black you never go back all right then let's go and let's let's look here right so we're going to have it it's going to be right here if you look here that's where it comes up to so let's go here and then let's make two of these duplicate it so this one shut the fuck up phone okay so we're gonna um keep in the position here and then uh i mean black bars are cool so let's just have that slide in nice and smooth Right. Okay, cool. Then the other black bar, we're just gonna do the opposite. So if you go over here, it's gotta be. And we also want these to end right here. So, so let's just try and trim these real quick. Right here, we want this. Oh my, if you don't fucking shut the, f I'm gonna murder. Okay, so um, the other thing that, uh, that, uh, okay, so, uh, fucking phone, god damn it. So that's gonna come in, so we're gonna go here, go to transform, position keyframe that, back to the original, back to the future, two. Okay, so, right? But here's the thing. But Josh, these black bars aren't solid black. Well, guys, it's a very good thing. Um, it's a good thing that I know the right opacity. Let's take this opacity down to exactly 73%. Check this out. Wait, no, sorry, it's 63%. Yep, I definitely know the exact opacity. Check this out. Oh, what, what, wait. Here's the one thing, is we want it to, um, we don't want it to uh, show at the same time because it's going to make it double black, right? So, uh, these both need to be at, oops, 63. Maybe it's 53. It's something that ends with a 3 and has another number at the beginning. It's not 0, 3, I know that. That looks not... Sometimes it's just a slot like this. Okay, so... I think... Let's see here. Is this the opacity of the same? Because I'm... I got a suspicion. Maybe it's... Let's send this opacity down to like 47, alright? Okay, that's okay. Um, and then the last thing, but see these black bars are covering it, right? You want it to be the other way around. So let's take these black bars, right, and take them down. So they're over the clip, but not out of this, right? Oh, yay! Yay! Okay, so now it comes in, right? But there's something else missing, right? What we need is if you go to uh, layers, uh, layer, layer, layer styles, let's drop a shadow, right? Boom. There we go. Look at that. That looks so much better now. That's a little too big of a shadow, so let's try, let's go, go, um, oh, I don't know, uh, let's say, shadow should be maybe three or two there we go wait I think that's it and let's decrease the capacity a little bit
That looks good. Okay, so I just pasted the same drop shadow that I used because I think I unselected this at one point. Paste in this drop shadow. Yeah, and now it looks so classy, right? I think this looks really classy. And then you can just go. Let's, let's, let's watch this in real speed, right? Check this out. Whoa, whoa. It's so crazy. I know, guys. I know, it's really crazy. And I couldn't have done it without you. So uh, thanks for watching this tutorial, guys. Hope it gave you some ideas. And you know, also, you don't have to animate it. Animating is just the quickest thing to do. You can do transitions. You can do like, CC lens. Yay. OK, so you can do things like CC lens, all kinds of fun stuff. Because um, uh, trick shots don't have enough of CC lens, right? <laughs> All right, so thanks for watching, you guys. Uh, uh, talk to you soon.